Ah, I just realized, just as I was about to say this, that it's been a while since I've been able to say it. Welcome back to the podcast. We are here with the fifth down crew, Nolan Chang, Jalen Holston. Say what's up to the pod, boys. Hello. Hello. Happy Monday. Hopefully the, the game tonight is a banger. I'm looking forward to watching it. You know, uh, who who's even playing? I don't even know who, who Raiders actually has and Green Bay. Ravens and Green Bay. Raiders and Dear God Bay. in heaven. What a no. you know, Speaking of the Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Want me to should have reminded me before <laughs> I'll go do that. You guys do your thing real quick. All right. Okay. Well anyway, we are going to give a shout out to our partners over at W Energy. Fantastic tasting energy drinks. Obviously, all of the cool merch. We got the, the shakers. We got the steel tumblers. We got the hats I'm not wearing right now, but we got the hats. And, of course, fantastic tasting energy. All of the caffeine. None of the crash. About I still got to get my red of, shaker. Match my chair. You know what's funny? I, it's, I didn't even order this one. This was a free gift. So, I was like, shout out to Anthony, I believe, is the name of the owner of Dubby. Oh, I forgot to email him back. I see. I feel so bad. Mm. I did. I did see that, and I was like, Shoot. "Yeah." I'll just say. I think. I think we all got it, but yeah. I anyway, missed the deadline. <clears throat> it's okay. I was like, "You'll you'll make up for it eventually." But yes, I call that guy. guys. Those who are watching on our video will see Nolan and I did have a gentleman's agreement over last week or mm-hmm. over Sunday's mm. games. The Steelers and the Ravens. He predicted the Ravens. I said the Steelers. And as a gentleman, he will be taking a shot on pod. My boy. Everybody it was funny. I, I remember distinctly when we made that bet. <laughs> right after we made the bet, and you're like, yeah, I think they're, you know, Steelers are undefeated against the Ravens in the past couple of years. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I know. I think I think they said we've won six of seven against yeah, them. Yeah, I was like, oh, no. Sh- <laughs> Pick on the one like guy that's not really a football head to make that bet, Keone. I see how it is, a little, a little snoozer boy. Yeah, well, yeah you want to come yeah. for this smoke. Boy, you can't fill that glass first. with your baby he shot went having first. ass. <laughs> baby shot? Boy, fill the glass up. What's wrong how with you? What you think this is? This is fill, the gla- fill the this glass is... up. Oh, shut your mouth. Cheers. Fill it up. <laughs> I don't even is know that you a anymore. wine glass? What is <laughs> It's like a little sampler cup that you go to like. No, it's a festivals. shot glass. Oh, um, for big yeah. boys, but he put a baby one in there. Uh, anyways, that'll lead us into our predictions for next week. Obviously, a lot of games coming up this next week. We got a lot of. Uh, I wouldn't say as good as this last week was. This last week was definitely more of like a banger lineup as far as like games that we had, but mm-hmm. uh, we do have some pretty good games back starting. With the first game of the week, which will be the Broncos and the Chiefs. We're just going to skip that one. We already know who we're p- picking for that game. On, uh, the next game I got here is the Ravens and the Titans. I think my gut says it's Lamar, so I'm always going to give them a leg up, right? Because who's... Is it still Tannehill? Yep. Jesus. So, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a very long, D-hop, drawn-out game, but I think I think Lamar does I'm something crazy. Ravens. Wins. Can't go for bad two times in a row, right? Gotta be Ravens. <laughs> gotta be Ravens yeah. this time, right? It's not the Steelers. I was gonna say, I was like, this one's gotta be the Ravens. I think. <laughs> uh, if it's not, I mean, you guys suck. The Panthers and the Dolphins. Dolphins. Come on. Dolphins. Come on. I was like, Come they're on. 0 and 5. Bryce like, Young's terrible. I said he was gonna be Dolphins. terrible. Way over high. There we go. Garbage quarterback. Yeah. Uh, Saints versus Texans. That one's spicy. That is I like spicy. the Texans sneaking one out. I think the Saints are still playing great with freaking Derek Carr somehow. I think the Texans get that one. CJ Stroud is proving to be the best in that class so far. Um, You know, I think I'm going to go Saints on this one. I think the Saints defense is kind of stepping up a little bit more. Um, I know that Tank Dell is going through concussion protocol, so he he's kind of like the long gun for CJ Stroud. I think... Uh, Ample secondary has shown that they can slow down the Texans a good beat, which is what the Falcons did last week. So I, I I wouldn't be surprised. And I think that, you know, the Saints will kind of pull this one out. Yeah, I may ride the Saints with this one as well. That that huge performance by the Saints this last week 
their defense. And then uh, Alvin Kamara, week three. The Commanders versus the Falcons. Well, <laughs> mm. I thought the Commanders defense was going to, you know, do some good mm-hmm. things last week. <laughs> oh, we got um, two <laughs> elite defenses going elite. against each other. <laughs> elite. <laughs> You know, I think I'll give the Commanders another shot again this week as well. I think that they do have a solid offensive um, repertoire going on. They didn't really utilize a lot of the receivers last game. We kind of saw a lot of tight end work other than Sam Howell getting shoveled to the ground every single down. Um, but I, yeah, I think I'm going to give the, the Commanders a little bit more check this week. Yep, I'm going with the Jay. commanders. Always will. I gotta love my I gotta rep my boy B enemy. He's he's doing some stuff down there. I think the they're way more enemy. exciting to watch this year as compared to years of past. And obviously a lot of a lot of work to do. Uh that O line needs some draft help. <laughs> needs some uh needs some you know, Jesus. I think they got good pieces. Uh they definitely need a quarterback. I'm not sold on Howell at all. Um yeah. I think once they get that piece, obviously a solid QB. Um they have plenty of talent at wide receiver and running back position so yeah i think for all the reasons you kind of spoke on before i'm gonna have the falcons or the commanders on this one just because i think that they have <laughs> strong tight ends the tight ends seem to they show do. out against this commander's team and that front line for sam howell is not great it's the indianapolis colts taking on the jaguars it's a pre-injury to anthony richardson I would yeah, have but I think Anthony Minshew Richardson, proves to I be think... a better <clears throat> IRL quarterback for them thus far. Kind of? Kind of. Somewhat? He actually runs the offense a little bit more, in my opinion. He does. Know? He's I mean, um, he's also not a rookie who's learning the yeah, game yeah, on the fly. Of course, and, no. um, so I think once that all settles, again, had he been healthy, I'd have picked the Colts. But obviously, and now I'm going to pick the Prince that was promised because it's coming down to him and... Uncle Rico, I'm I'm sorry, but Sunshine's probably going to take that one. <laughs> you know? nah, I think I'm going to go Jaguars on this one. The Jaguars will take the role that they kind of got from this last game against the Bills, and you know Trevor Lawrence. I've actually found Ridley more times than not this game. I think he's trying to kind of find his groove. I think they're going to keep rolling with it, and the Colts would be a nice little follow up matchup to do so. So I'm going to go with the Jags. I really don't mean to keep being the opposite of you guys, but I'm going to go with the Colts just because we got the JT Zach Moss tandem. That's been, that is true. You know, I mean, Zach enough. Moss looks pretty damn monstrous this last week, and JT is obviously going to be, you know, getting more reps this week yeah. as well. And when you got two quarterbacks who aren't doing great, that's where you go. You run the mm-hmm. ball. Seahawks versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Go Seahawks. Go hmm. Geno. I can in good conscience say that the Bengals are back in it after this one game that they had a great win on. So I'm going to probably go Seahawks as well. Coming off a of bye week, I mean, they all got to rest, right? Was it a bye week for yeah, them? Yeah, bye week. Seahawks? Yeah, so bye week for Seahawks. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'll look. I'd give it to the Seahawks as well. Next one we got here, the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears. Honestly, I'm taking the Bears because here's the deal. I'm, gonna say, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be surprised if the Bears now if the, the Bears defense <laughs> wants to give us that game, that would be amazing because that's what's let them yeah. down the last two weeks. It's not been Justin Fields. We can all point to the fumble play or whatever, but we can't mm-hmm. sit here and act like the defense didn't give up 28 straight points before that game. You know what I mean? Like they had that yeah. game wrapped and then allowed the Broncos to come back in and win that one game. And same thing last week. They let the game get really, really close and all that good stuff. Like, if the defense can somehow lock it in for Chicago with the way Fields is now playing football, this is that's back-to-back weeks now. It wasn't just a one-fluke game. He did it twice in a row, same same style, a lot of good dropbacks. He's finally seeing his receivers, and they're running him a little bit to keep everybody honest. So, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think the Bears can definitely do it against mid-Kirk Cousins. So, we'll see. I'm in agreement. Nope. I think the Bears yeah. are going to squeeze this one out. I think the Vikings' downfall is just going to keep on trucking. The next one we got here: 49ers and Browns. The Browns is this a question. <laughs> <laughs> this is a question, um, guys. Come on, uh, boy. Uh, but yeah, 49ers clearly the victor in that one. We got the Patriots and the Raiders as our next. Dear God. So I said, uh, this, this week's lineup is not yeah. as good as last week's lineup. Was. It's, yeah. it's going to be the Raiders. I'm actually going to pick the Patriots for that one, to be honest with you. 
just because I think the the Raiders oh, are wow. so bad outside of throwing the ball to Devontae Adams for a couple touchdowns a game. I'll take the Raiders just because of what I kind of predicted earlier with Bill Belichick aiming for that bottom and uh, Jacoby Myers Taken. trying to. Yeah, and Jacoby Myers trying to have his uh, revenge game today. The Lions and the Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield coming back. Baker's after, been looking good. That's um, what I'm saying. Buccaneers, after a bye week. Shake and bake. I think, I think the biggest thing with this one is... I like how you threw Mike the ears like you. Because Jay throw the accent like out there. Like you're in there. Uh, <laughs> I just saw that right now. I was about to say, yeah. Um, yeah. Boomer, baby. Mike Evans Boomer out with Hammy. So that's kind of relying on Godwin right now. Mm-hmm. Um, Obviously, Rashad Wright as well. But this is tough. This is tough. Uh, Buccaneers have that week off. You know, we talked about this last pod that we can't, we really like the Detroit Lions this year. So I love I'm, I'm, the yeah. Detroit Lions. I'm gonna this stick year. with them. I'm gonna yeah. stick with them. Go Dan for Campbell. it. Your, I'm just saying, I got shake and bake, baby. The juice is kind of back. I you love know what Dan I mean? Campbell as a head coach, man. I, I gotta go with Lions, man. I was like, I'll ride that train until they fall off. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, we got the Hell Cardinals yeah, and the Rams as the next ones. You know what? I'm gonna go with the Rams. I mean, I we we kind of saw them pushing. The Eagles a little bit in that first half of the game, and then of course yeah. Eagles kind of took charge. Not to mention, I think thus far, the Niners probably their biggest actual in-game challenge have been the Rams so far. So I do think that this Rams team has something. Do I think it's something that's going to be consistent and take them over the edge? No, but they are doing something nice over there. They got Cooper Cup back five five targets or six targets and five catches in the first drive of the game for Cup right when he got back. So. They're going to do some fun stuff right there. Shocker. The LA native picks the LA Rams. Okay. All right. This game. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Uh, want to do this fact check right now, Kenny? Did I pick the Rams last week? No, I didn't. <laughs> Just shut your face, Missouri boy. <laughs> Ironically, last week we were like, what a bad LA fan. I know. Right? <laughs> you didn't Don't pick even the pick Rams. Rams. <laughs> what and then this week it's like, like it's God, what a bad way an LA fan. Really is. <laughs> typical. A typical LA fan. You yeah. only hear about the Lakers <laughs> when they win a game. Huh? Shocker. Yeah, no way. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, a, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm just going to, like I said, it's my dad's mm-hmm. team. So I'm going to ride with the Rams again this week. They destroyed me in fantasy, unfortunately. Oh, but boy. Um, it's because it's his team. You're going to wow. go for the Bears, huh? <laughs> wow. You don't love your dad? Wow. I yeah, do, but I don't go that? for the Bulls or the Bears, more. do I? Then you don't love them. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have the Eagles uh, and the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> the Eagles and the Jets? Oh, shit. Yes, sir. I think this is Zach Wilson's primetime upset alert. I'm putting it on the radar right now. Ooh. I think it's going to happen. Uh, this kid, Listen, this kid's been slanging That's the pigskin out there. He looked good against us. He looked good against Denver. I think this this kid's actually, you know, taking a break from banging everybody's mom and actually doing some football. Now, okay? <laughs> like, this is, this is the kid that they drafted out of BYU right here. He's figuring out how to get it to the other Wilson. They're using uh, Hall's back full full time now, basically. Um, and now yeah. Dalvin Cook's kind of taking the second nurgle, so the run game's going. The defense is still incredible. Um, so I, I, you know what I mean? Like this is this is one I'm going to put on upset alert. I'm going to say everybody look out. Eagles might drop one because they're the Eagles, and it's a New York and <laughs> Philly thing. They're going to go at each other like Bing Bang Boom, and the you know whatever. So I, I'm going to go with the Jets and see how that goes. First loss of the season for him. I do expect an upset soon, but I don't expect it this week. So I'm, I'm going to take the Eagles in this one. Going to go to the push, Giants bro. versus the Bills. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Bills, but they got absolutely embarrassed over in London. The so, Battle of New York. Right, right. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the the Bills for sure. Yeah, the Bills. Listen, because I have eyeballs, I have to pick the Bills, because doing so would mean I'm irrational and borderline insane. But it doesn't negate the fact that Josh Allen is still Here it is. an absolute <laughs> overrated piece of garbage quarterback. And he'll look great against a New York defense, and then the media will come in and see, see, 
Yeah. Josh Allen, this is the guy. He's amazing. Oh, my God. Look at him go against <laughs> nobody. The school for the deaf and the blind is the equivalent of the New York Giants at this point. So why are we even? I don't know. It's going to be the Bills. So whatever. And All when right. they lose, I will then tally that on to the list of reasons I never, <laughs> ever want to hear that man's name in the list of top quarterbacks in the NFL ever again. Uh, Matt Milano's out this week. Uh, they get Tyrod Taylor into the lineup for the Giants. Yep. This, yep. this will be my one big uh, upset. Tyrod, baby. I'm riding with the Giants. I believe in Tyrod. So we'll see what he does. Uh, the last game of the week, we have the Cowboys and the Chargers. Chargers. Not even close. I hate the Cowboys. Oh, yeah, I think they're going to give it the Chargers as well. They got a whole week of rest um, mm-hmm. in comparison to them. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Yeah. I'm going to ride with the Chargers, especially if they get Austin Eckler back. I think that's yeah. that's one of those like CMC versus the Cowboys type mm-hmm. of deals. That will do it for this week's episode of the fifth down. We're looking at forward to everything that's going to happen in week six we're looking forward to everything that's going to happen for the rest of the season boys any last nuggets to drop before the end of this pod here keep on keeping on swifty nation gang gang oh oh (laughs) (laughs) i can all hear enough about that crap (laughs) Uh, it's been a pleasure it's been a joy two and oh since they started dating boy So, <laughs> <laughs> give us love, everybody.